with more for this school year on Zoom News TV. Topping off our headlines, the Salsabel has a new brother president. The school community comes together to celebrate its emerald year. Paulo shoes flights to Europe. And finally, the archers down the eagles. Brother Dennis Magbanwa, FSC, instituted many programs during his term in DLSZ. And now his term comes to an end and we welcome our new brother president, Brother Bernard S. Oka. Here is our brother. Installation of Brother Bernard S. Oka, FSC, as the 8th President of De La Salle St. Chavi Zabel was held at the Our Lady of the Star Chapel on June 24, 2013. In attendance were Brother Armin Luisio, FSC, Secretary of the Department of Education, and Brother Dennis Magbana, FSC, former De La Salle St. Chavi Zabel President. The oath of office was administered by Brother Armin Luisio. Brother Bernie is a Lasallian through and through. He finished his grade school at De La Salle University High School La Salle Green Hills, and earned his bachelor's and master's in the La Salle University. This is Chucky Villarde, reporting for Zoom News TV. Uh, good afternoon, good day to everybody watching us on Zoom TV now, and we have the, our very special guest gracing the investiture of Brother Bernard Oca as our new DLSE president, none other than the Secretary of Education, Brother Armin Luis, your FSC brother. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Bra Brother, I just want to ask you, how do you feel about Brother o brother Bernie being installed as our new DLZ president? Well, well, first of all, this is home to me, and uh, I'm very pleased to see the improvements in the school. I think the past years, Brother Dennis has done a wonderful, wonderful job, not just in, um, in um, preparing the infrastructure and the programs, but also in making sure that this is a happy school. Um, and there's a lot of of joy, there's a lot of, of um, fraternity among students and between students and teachers. No? And I am sure Brother Bernie will have an easy time <laughs> adjusting because uh, the ground has been set. No? Uh, but Brother Bernie also has a wonderful gift and that is uh, his gift of being very much with everyone, engaging everyone from drivers to parents to yayas to students. No? Um, uh, he comes to school very early yes. and he will be there in all every activity and he will be there on time. Mark yes. it on your watches. <laughs> he will be there on time uh, and, and he will make sure that every time spent is quality time. I'm sure you will enjoy Brother uh, Bernie. He, he will continue the great work that has been uh, started by many other brothers before him. And I, I think the, the, the other big gift of Brother Bernie is he will connect De La Salle Zobel with what is happening with the rest of the world, especially in areas that in La Salle lingo are the last, the lost, and the least. Yes. And I think that will be a wonderful part of um, the education of students in Zobel, no? opening up to the realities of the world around us and recognizing that we need to engage them beyond what we under know in the classroom. Brother Armin, I think um, Lasallian students want to get to know Brother Bernie more. So do you have a special anecdote or something unique about Brother Bernie that you will remember, that when you see Brother Bernie, you will really remember that's Brother Bernie? Well, Brother Bernie is very serious aside from making sure that all activities start on time. He wants to make sure that everything also end on time. Yeah. Um, he um, is, is most of all, before being a teacher, He's really an artist at heart. Yes. And um, you will notice that he looks at things, stories, not just as facts, but also as myths, as, uh, uh, as a part of the bigger drama in the world. No? Yes. And, and I, I think that will be your entry point into understanding Brother Bernie. If the world is a, is a stage, um, every, every moment, every meeting, uh, uh, and every activity, that you find Brother Bernie is part of that long playing drama that, uh, uh, that you find in the world. No? And, and I, I think with that you, you will understand that what makes him happy, what makes him cry, are the things that have a long lasting and sustainable uh, effect on the lives of people. No? So uh, maybe it's from that perspective that you will understand Brother Bernie also. And uh, like all dramas, um, um, there are times when you have to laugh and there are times when you have to cry. So you have to take him uh, uh, from that perspective too. Finally, brother, any last message? 
for our La Salle and partners here in De La Salle Zabel? I'm very proud of uh, De La Salle Zabel. I was commenting to Brother Dennis earlier during the Mass. The Zabel students look very, not only disciplined, but also holy. <laughs> I said, they look all so nice and kind. Um, but seriously, I think there's been, there been a transformation in the student body in Zabel. Um, I think that the Lasallianess of, of, of the students and your, your, um, uh, your, your making sure that this heart of a Lasallian is in, in, in every student is very, very palpable. Yeah. Um, maybe it's a combination of, of what Brother Felix, Brother Ceci, Brother Dennis, and all the other Lasallians have put together. Um, I am very, very proud of our students in De La Salle Zabel. And I am sure uh, uh, you, you can be even better if you open yourselves up to the rest of the world. Yeah. Um, in my case, I'll be very happy to see some of you visiting our public schools and engaging our own students and teachers. I hope to see you there one of yes. these days. On that note, br brother, thank you very much thank for your time. Thank you very much. We are live here today at a very momentous occasion of Brother Bernie S. Ocas Investiture as the new DLZ president. And we are joined here by the man of the hour himself, Brother Bernie S. Oka FSC. Brother, good morning to good you. Good morning. Brother, how does it feel to be the new brother president of De La Salle Well, I'm very excited about being the president. Um, well, I've, I've been here for quite some time before classes started. I was already here uh, meeting the teachers as we're preparing for the school. Then the past week, during the first uh, week, and I've been seeing the students, looking at uh, the classrooms and the facilities, and uh, seeing this school and the potential of this school makes me very excited. Brother, I think many people, my batchmates, my fellow students, want to know Brother Bernie better. Yeah. So, how is Brother Bernie in regular life? What, what's your hobbies? What's your, what's your likes? What's your dislikes? Okay, in terms of likes, I am an avid golfer. If I have the free time, I will go out to the golf course and play golf. So that's one. I also like to read very much, and so I, have, I spend a lot of time reading papers, magazines, and books. Right now I'm reading like three or four books simultaneously. I put one down and then to pick up another. And then I also watch a lot of movies and TV, but not the regular TV, but when I can just pick it up like in the videos or DVDs. So those are some of the things that I, I like very much doing. I like also exercising. I, I used to swim and do weights, but now golf is taking most of my time. Brother, who's your favorite golfer? I actually like Tiger Woods, although so many people uh, Same with me. <laughs> are having difficulties with him. What I want to see in him is that after that difficult time in his yes. life to yes. uh, see how he will rise up. And I, I'm always a champion for those that have fallen down and rising up. So, so I like uh, Tiger Woods very much. Brother, let's go, let's talk about the school. Yeah. What can the DLSE community expect from our new brother president, Brother Bernard? Well, you can expect me to uh, be pretty hands-on. I, I, when I walk around, I don't stay in the office as much, but I really want to see what's happening uh, live. So I do what you call management by walking around. So I walk around, I see what's, what's taking place. Uh, I get to meet people, know what's happening in the school, not only through official channels, but unofficial channels also. And so when I hear that, and I can see that there are certain things that can be improved, and we will do some improvement. But really, uh, from what I see, De La Salle Zobel is really very well run. I think it's an excellent school. And I just hope to make um, what are the strengths to be stronger and then uh, try to improve the, the weaknesses. Brother, what's your uh, opinion about the e-learning, the iPad being used by the students? I think that is just being uh, relevant to the times, especially the world of young people. You cannot take that away from them. And so you have to use this type of world and using their technology to be able to use it for as an accompaniment to learning. So I think that's very, very important. But having said that, I still would like to encourage the students to continue to have face-to-face uh, -face interactions, uh, especially so I'd like them to uh, uh, have more, uh, we'll, we'll get into clubs, organizations, 
extra and co-curricular activities and sports so that they would have more opportunities to interact with one another. Finally, brother, mm -hmm. any message to the DLSZ community? Uh, I am here as a president, but I am not just going to be uh, the only one responsible for this school. Everyone here uh, should be part of the making sure that this is going to be a Lasallian school. So I'd like to encourage all of you students to be one with me in trying to accomplish our mission as Lasallians. In that note, brother, thank you for your time thank and congratulations you, thank again. You, thank you very much. Can you believe that DLSZ has been in existence for 35 years? I'm sure this will be a big celebration. Here's Yala Carlos with the report. Telos Olsen Chagasabel School celebrates its 35th year. The Emerald Kickoff was held in the school's sports pavilion where the students gathered to take place in this momentous event. The opening number was performed by the DLSE Pep Squad, followed by a countdown to the official start of the school's 35th year. Overall, the event was a success and we are all honored to be a part of this. Animal La Salle, and here's to the next 35 years. This is Yala Carlos reporting for Zoom News TV. For what's going on around the world, here is Eugene Paredes reporting. While the demise of two teenagers last Sunday proved to be an unfortunate event, the Ishani Airline plane crash also reminds us that in times of crisis, anyone can be a hero. Veteran flight attendant Lee Yun He calmly recounted the chaotic minutes of the tragedy that was the Ishana plane crash to Korean journalists in San Francisco earlier this week. Lee described the bravery and professionalism that her colleagues exhibited during the evacuation, relaying how they continued to help passengers even as fire started to engulf the plane's rear. Seeing the calamitous state of the aircraft, the flight attendants started using items such as axes and kitchen knives to free crew members trapped in the back. May it be due to their training or just their bravery, the Shan Airlines flight attendants definitely deserve to be called heroes. This is Eugene Paredes reporting for Zoo News TV. It sure was an exciting weekend for sports, especially for us green-blooded Lasallians. Here is Chagi Velarde with his story. Calm, cool, and collected are only a few words to describe the junior archers as they stay undefeated in the UAAP Season 76 Juniors Basketball Division by defeating the University of the East Pages 79-45 at the Ateneo Blue Eagle Gym last July 10. Lorenzo Subido faced the junior archers with 32 points, 21 of those coming from beyond the arc. The junior archers as of press time are currently keeping a clean slate with a 3-0 record. Raymar Kaduyak led the Pages with 13 points as he was the only Huey player to score double digits in the game. The team leaders for that game were Manman Isaak with 9 rebounds, Alfred Sahuga with 6 assists, and Kenita Banzon with 4 steals and 2 blocks. The next game for the Junior Archers will be on July 17 at the Mall of Asia Arena. This is Chucky Bilarde, reporting for Zoom News TV. And that's the news for this week. I'm Anthony Aguilar. And I'm Danny Kuzan. Did you watch the game last week? Oh, yes, yeah. I did. It was so intense. I mean, I'm so proud to be a La Salle. It's like the heat loss. Like so am I. Joyful celebration, right? Oh, let's remind them about our Twitter and Instagram. Of course, if you want to comment on the game and other topics we reported on, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Zoom News TV. You'll be sure we're going to respond. Thank you. Happy weekend.